Hello everyone, today we will learn how to create WordPress post from Gravity Forms submission. So if you're using Gravity Forms as a form builder application and you get responses that you need to create post in WordPress, then you don't have to do the work manually, rather create an automation with the help of Pabli Connect so that our trigger will be the new response from Gravity Forms and our action will be creating a post in WordPress. So you don't have to do it again and again. Let us learn how to do that. So let us create this automation where whenever a new submission is received in the gravity forms then a new post will be created in your wordpress account using the response from that specific form rather than manually creating a post about the responses let us quickly sign in into our automation software that is pabli so that i'll reach so that i'll so that I'll reach this place where I can see all the applications provided by Pabli. We are going to use Pabli Connect to create automation. So let us click on access now under that only. And then you will reach the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Reaching here, you can see a big blue button on your right side where it's written create workflow. Click on the button and give a suitable name to your workflow. I'm going to name it as create WordPress post from Gravity Forms responses. Click on create. And then a blank workflow will be created for you. You can see two windows, trigger an action in front of you. Now the trigger says when this happens and action says do this, which means that whenever a trigger application over here will be entered, so an event will take place in that application that will be called the trigger, which will make sure that the action application performs the assigned action. So for this workflow, our trigger application is gravity forms because once the form is submitted, then only the captured response over here will be used to create a post in WordPress. Now Pabli Connect will provide you a webhook URL which you are going to use to connect Pabli Connect and Gravity Form so that Pabli Connect gets the access to fetch the information of all the responses of that specific form. So we are going to use this webhook URL. How are you going to do it? Let us know. First of all, you will be going to forms and then click on add-ons in the left menu in your WordPress account only. Then over here, you have to search for webhooks first of all, because you have to install the webhook add-on over here. Keep scrolling. It might be a little down. Yeah, here we have webhooks add-on. So you can see it's active already, which means that I have already installed it. Now that I have installed it, I will go to that specific form on which I want to put this integration. Like I have over here, essay writing competition. So I will click on this form and over here, I will go to settings and then search for webhooks. This is a webhook and you see over here that no webhook has been added here. So click on add new, give a name to your webhook. I'm going to name it as WordPress webhook. And then in the request URL place, you have to enter this webhook URL that you are going to copy from your Pabli Connect. Paste it here only. And then the re request method is post and the request format is JSON. So this is your gravity forms and we are going to save the settings. Once it is saved, the form is integrated and now you will just click on this preview that is given over here. But before that, you can come over to Pabli Connect and check that your trigger application is waiting for a response, which means you need to fill the form so that the response of that form will be captured and brought here in this workflow. Go back to your gravity forms, click on preview and then fill up the form. So I'm going to fill the form with the name as demo, the last name as user, the email address, and then you want to confirm the email address so you can just copy paste it back. Now you need to enter the topic. So like I am taking the topic as this is the topic of my essay writing competition and now you have to enter the content. So I have prepared a content over here. I'm going to copy it from here and paste it in my content section. This is done. Now I will submit my form. Once this is done, you go back to Pabli Connect and see the response will be captured right in front of you. This is the topic. This is the content, the email address of the person and you will be having their name as well. This is demo user, which means that our trigger application was able to get the response here to the workflow in Pabli Connect. Now what you want to do is to transfer this information to the action application so that a post can be created in your WordPress. That is our action application. Choose your application at WordPress and then the event is going to be to create a post. Connect your WordPress account, add new connection and then you have to enter the WordPress username, email address or WordPress password and base URL as well. So we are going to do that. This is my username and now I will enter my password. 
and this is my password. Now I have entered my password and username. You want to enter the base URL as well. So they have given you the example that what is the base URL. So enter your full publicly accessible URL, which is starting from the HTTP or HTTPS. This is done. And then if you have the admin or login with it, so you don't have to include that part. So when you go back to your WordPress, you will see this is your URL. All right. So let us start copying from the HTTPS and go till this part okay and we are not going to copy the admin part copy it come to your workflow and paste it right here now click on save and then the connection will be established now that wordpress and public connect are connected you have to select the post type you what is it a media page template but we are going to create a post now you have to fill in certain fields which you are generally supposed to fill whenever you are going to create a post in wordpress so what is the title you are going to map it from the information that you have received from your gravity form submission because every time a new form comes it will be the title will change the content will change and it will be mapped as it is so click on the empty field, then it will ask you to insert data from the previous step. Now this is called mapping. So how do you map? You are given this drop down menu. That is the list of all the responses you have received in your form response. So this is the topic. This is the title. Now the content. So you can paste the content from here. Click this. This is done. You can also add a slash and n here and write by colon and then map the name because we have taken the name of that person as well so this is the name space last name as well and it's done no slug except nothing the status is to publish because we need to publish the content and then everything else is done you don't need to change anything else click on save and send test request and wait for the response from wordpress and you can see we have received the response so over here you can see it's all correct no error is here so save this step and then let's do a quick recap that our trigger application was gravity forms we created a form and then we connected it the response was received which was used to create a post in the wordpress account and as you can see here you have a post created so this was the whole workflow i hope this helped not just these applications but you can integrate many other applications using pably connect if you have any issue regarding Pabli, you can email us at support at pabli.com. You can ask your queries at forum.pabli.com. And if you have any doubts regarding our pricing, then you can connect us through this given website. If you found this video helpful in any way, then make sure to share this with your friends and colleagues to make their life easier by creating automations. We will meet in the next video. Till then, do not forget to like our video and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.